Hello everyone and welcome to a quick movie review uh, for Shin Ultraman. I have finally got the chance to watch Shin Ultraman in both Japanese and the English dubbed. Also apologies in advance and my voice sounds a little bit more rough than usual. I've been having a sore throat for the past couple of days and it's been getting rough to talk. So apologies in advance. Anyway, is this film comparing off both uh, the... Japanese and English dub version, I feel like it's important to talk about because some people would probably start saying that, oh, you know, Japanese is superior or why watch the English dub because it's inferior. And to be fair, both films are, both versions of the film are pretty good. I did like the Japanese version a little bit more because I, it's kind of me, I have a preference for watching Japanese films in Japanese, but. The English dub for Shin Ultraman wasn't entirely bad. It had a pretty solid uh, voice acting cast. I felt like all the voice actors for the English dub did a great job. Besides maybe some characters at first uh, sounding kind of off for like the uh, English dub. But it's a pretty good uh, dubbing for the film and I, it's not very distracting. And I think it's uh, it deserves a chance for the English dub to be watched. I know some people would rather watch uh, the Japanese original version, but English dub is uh, pretty good. And there's not much changes to the dialogue that it's too drastic. It's just maybe a couple of changes to the, the dialogue here and there, but nothing too major that it just changes like the certain plot or, you know, the elements of the film. The kaiju and creature designs for this film were also uh, pretty good as I was uh, covering the trailers when they were like dropping and I was sort of like analyzing and going over the designs for a lot of like the monsters that were going to be in the film. I covered almost all of them except um, Alien Mephilus. And since Alien Mephilus like uh, true alien form wasn't revealed until like almost after the film was released and Alien Mephilos looks cool. I like that they gave it an otherworldly, like, more alien-like appearance by giving it, like, a dome-shaped, like, head. And then it has, by removing its eyes and giving it a more skinnier, lankier appearance. Not saying that the original Alien Mephilos didn't look alien-like, but I kind I did like this version of Alien Mephilos. Not my favorite version or incarnation of the character, but I, it's a pretty good design. And also, uh, Alien Zeton is in this film as the big final, like, boss or, like, the big final obstacle in the way. And, uh, it was, that was expected because that's kind of, like, the final boss of the original Ultraman, uh, series is Alien Zeton. And the way Alien Zeton it functions or appears in this film is a lot more different than what it looks like in the original series. But essentially, Alien Zeton is, like, a... A living bioweapon that is usually summoned by like the ultras in order to like destroy planets that they don't see fit or planets that are considered uh, threats for like the future and earth seemed as a, seemed like a threat for the future so it gets summoned in order to destroy the earth but uh alien uh not alien ultraman shows up and defeats it after a struggle but he manages to, to defeat it and its design is very cool it's very complex i noticed that the way when it was being summoned uh, and the way it was forming and taking shape, uh, Aliens at times design is very complex and I feel like it would be very tough to replicate this design again in like any other like tokusatsu like Ultraman show because due to the complexity of its design. Very cool design however, I liked it. It's like they took the elements of the enemies from Evangelion and uh, Alien Zaton and just combine it into one huge like giant creature and I thought it looked pretty cool. Now the film at some parts can feel a little bit rushed, I can understand and that is because they are trying to fit various plot elements from older like Ultraman episodes from the original Ultraman series into like an hour 52 minute film and at some parts the film can feel a bit rushed for that reason because like at I've seen people say that after like the first half it starts picking up a little bit more pace and it feels a bit more rushed than like the first half. And I can understand that because they're trying to fill like four or five episodes equivalent of content into like that short uh, you know, runtime, even though I feel like it works. A lot of the stuff that wor worked in the film 
And I feel like the reason they were doing that is because they were trying to fit in as much like monsters and content and sort of like plot elements that reference the original series to sort of like please the longtime Ultraman fans. And that's me. I'm longtime Ultraman fans. Oh, uh, because for me as a longtime Ultraman fan, I enjoyed the film. Uh, everything I saw was fine. But for the casual audience, it might feel like a little bit uh, faster pace and might be a little bit thrown off by that. But for the longtime fans, uh, for like me, I wasn't thrown off by it. I was, I was, I was just happy to see like a lot of the aliens and a lot of the plot elements that were used from the original Ultraman series and brought into for this film. Ultraman Zoffy also makes an appearance in the film, which was also expected. He also makes an appearance at the final episode of the original Ultraman, and he makes an appearance in the last couple of minutes. Uh, he's the one who summons Alien Zeton to destroy the planet, and essentially, he sort of not really, he doesn't really play that much of a villain role. He just plays that role of the character that following orders type of character. And essentially, he's just following orders because, you know, Ultraman, you know, uh, broke the code or the law of the Land of Light by showing humanity, the Ultraman technology, and he's just essentially there to, like, set things right and set things in order, but he's not that much of a villain. Uh, his design is obviously not as different from uh, Ultraman, because, I mean, Zolfi and Ultraman practically in the original show don't look that much different, besides maybe a couple of their design patterns, but he has a different, uh, like, color palette to the design. He's a little bit more, sort of like, not really gold, but a little bit more, he's a little bit more colorless, but I guess that's the reason, and it's because since, uh, when an Ultra in this universe merges with a human, they sort of gain a coloring towards, like, their body, but when they aren't merged with, like, a human or a host, uh, they sort of remain like a dull coloring to him. And I think, uh, I mean, the design is not that much different to Ultraman, so I mean, I, what am I gonna say? He looks fine, he just looks alright. Really, my only complaint about the film is that some of the fights fell too short. I felt like some of the fights could have been longer. I wish the fight with Alien Mephilos was a little bit more longer. And then the fight with uh, Naronga was just so disappointing with how short it, you know, it just ended. It was like not even that much of a fight, to be fair. But overall, that's really my complaint, you know. A lot of my other complaints would just be like nitpicks me saying like, oh, you know, I wish they did include this or wish they could have removed this. But yeah, that's just be me being nitpicky. Overall, I thought the film was great, very well done. Uh, the score was fantastic, the action was great. The CGI, obviously, I've seen some people complain about. I'm not bothered by CGI. Uh, you know, I watched so much Tokusatsu and, like, other Japanese media. So, I'm used to the CGI not being, like, Hollywood levels of quality. But once you get past the CGI, you get yourself a really good, a great film. The human characters were all right. Uh, I like the characters. They were quite likable. I don't think they're as memorable compared to like the characters from the original Ultraman. But yeah, it, it's a very fun cast of characters. And I don't know what else to say besides I love the film, you know. And it was very great to finally see it in theaters. And I hope some of you people got a chance to watch it in theaters. And I don't know what else to talk about. So either ways, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to... Like, share, and subscribe, and if leave your comments and thoughts down in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next video.